Lee, bruh, what it goddamn be, bruh. It is Scorpion Reds. Yes and damn deed. I am back at it again. One time for the one time to let you guys know what is going on for the month of July 2019. Yes, indeed. We have got some new deck announcements, you guys. Listen to me. We got a whole lot of new flavor that has hit the table. I don't know why I didn't already have this out before I hit the record button, but it's okay. I be slim slow sometimes. So listen. Hold on. Mm -mm. Y'all know how I am about my coffee. Hold on, bitch. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Watch out, little bitch. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Watch out, little bitch. Hold on. Mm -hmm. So listen, you guys. Check this out. We got some new decks. Shout out to everyone who has been booking personal and private readings. If you want to book a reading, all that information is in the about tab. If you guys want to send some support to the page, these videos have been resonating and have been giving you guys insight. And you guys just want to send a dollar to say thank you. If you guys want to check out the Amazon wish list and send something through the Amazon wish list, go ahead because y'all been showing the fuck out and i appreciate it because like i told y'all i told y'all i was going to be studying this cardamancy stuff like that and i'm um, lenormand and that's what we got here we have the under the roses the norman deck we will be using this one today i think y'all already seen if y'all been looking at the collective readings y'all already seen this gangster ass alice the wonderland deck look at alice Get the fuck out of here, bitch. <laughs> Alice, don't be playing. Listen, shout out to my baby girl, Callie. Look, she sent us that East versus the West Coast. Rap quotes deck. This joint is like that. Let me show y'all real quick. Let me show y'all. Let me just pull. Let me just pull something real quick. This is 10% this by MC Light. It says, beat bitter. Dope style taker, tell you to your face, you ain't nothing but a faker. Okay. That three of, come on, listen. People like want to work with you, want to see what's popping. You know, want to make some business plans, some investments. You guys might be going back to school, studying and stuff like that. And y'all straight up letting people know if the shit ain't looking like it need to be looking, you letting them know to their face. Listen, I'm a dope style taker. I'll tell you to the to your face, you ain't nothing but a faker. You don't deal with the shakes and fakes, okay? So that is the East versus the West Coast deck. We will be using that very soon, you guys. Very soon. Very soon. We have the Genius Music deck. I think y'all seen me use that. And we will be using today the Oracles of Visions deck. So, again, shout out to everyone who has been supporting the page by way of Amazon, the Amazon wish list, and PayPal. Shout out to everyone and everyone mainly who's been um, also been booking personal and private reading. Shout out to you guys as well because that also helps me put love back into the page and you know thank you guys so so much so y'all are going to be seeing some new decks you're going to be seeing me pulling my phone out to um get clarifications on the playing cards because you know and possibly the norman because i'm studying i'm gonna go off of my intuition and we're going to clarify see how a girl been doing um, so just want to say thank you. You guys should know how to book with me just in case if you don't, um, go to that, um, about tab. You book with me, then you link with me. My booking link is the first link at the top that says Scorpion Reds at simply book me click that select your reading and then you double back and send me a message on instagram so we can connect there for the video chat reading if you don't have instagram you can use my email which is scorpionreds at gmail.com and you can send me a message on google hangouts okay um if you don't want to get on camera there's um or if you don't want to get on camera or if you want me to record a recap of your video if you want me to record the whole session and upload a private video to youtube then there's an add-on in the menu. Um, so, like I said, if you want that recap or if you don't want to get on camera, you can purchase that add-on. And what you do is when you send me the message, um, when we link up, just say, Hey, Reds, um, this is so-and-so. I booked on this date. I don't want to get on camera, but this is my question. And make sure that you only tell me the question. Don't tell me the situation surrounding the question while you're asking that because I'm going to get the information from Spirit and we're going to figure out what to do from there, okay? So, let's get into the prayer. That's enough of the house announcements. Let's get it. Um, oh, also, I do have um, a little bit of merch. I'm working on some t-shirts right now. 
If you guys know some good designers or if you are some good designers, you guys want to help out and stuff like that, go ahead and um, email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com. I'm working on some merch. I do have some morning slide uh, mugs in the about tab too. So if you guys want to get you guys a morning slide mug, go ahead and um, check that out as well. And um, look out. We will be having some t-shirts coming very soon. So anyway, some Zodiac tees. Anyway. So, let's get into the prayer. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for my Libras. My Libras, you already know what it be with us, Father God. You already know how we be acting up. <laughs> you already know how we be acting up, Father God. Thank you so much for just keeping us prayed up. I feel like right now, just what's going on in our life, like prayer is like literally just the savior of our life, our faith. And our ability to just get up every day and just know that we good. Like, it is just literally what's pushing us and what's thriving us and what's taking us as far as we have been going. Because a lot of us have gone from last year, from where we were last year to where we are today. It is so much of a big difference where people really are applauding us and just amazed at how much we have grown and how much we have just matured and just everything. We have really elevated ourselves and we are extremely proud of ourselves. Um, the 4th of July is coming up. We're about to celebrate. You know, we are just really enjoying this summer. Just this summer is starting off good and we just thank you so much, Father God. Please give us continuous love and light. Please continue us victory and celebration and just being adorned with you know the lusciousness of <laughs> this beautiful life that we you give to us every day father god we we thank you every day for waking us up every day and just giving us something to smile and be grateful for father god you are an amazing god an amazing god and we couldn't serve anyone better than you father god we thank you abundantly please give us guidance for the sign of libra please let us know where to be for the month of july Thank you so much for all the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. Please continue to take us further, God. Please hold our hand as we walk through these footsteps. Thank you so much, Father God. Our steps have been ordered. Come on now. Let me get me some coffee now. Come on now. Our steps have been ordered. Come on. Come on, Carmel Macchiato. All right. So, get some day-to-day -day guidance for my Libras for the month of July. You lie. Shea butter, baby. All right. Ooh, okay. Okay, hold on now. What's going on, Lee? What's going on, Libra? It say be honest with yourself. Okay? Respect yourself. What is, <laughs> what is going on? It said be honest with yourself. Look into your heart. And you will know the truth of the situation. It's safe to admit the truth to yourself. For we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. Lean upon us for courage and for strength. Take good care of yourself. Focus only upon your true desires. And they will come to you upon angels' wings. Okay, that's, that's not bad. That's good. Okay. Okay. I'm going to say it one more time. Respect yourself. Okay? Listen, we about respecting ourselves. We being honest with ourselves. We looking in that mirror. And we listen, we, we, we don't fear the mirror. We don't fear the mirror because we like what we see around this bitch. Okay? Okay? Mm-hmm. Okay? All right, we out here zestfully clean on up. <laughs> we zestfully clean, okay? We are spiritually clean around here. We being honest with ourselves about that. But let's see, let's see, cause let, you know, don't let me jump ahead. Don't let me jump ahead, cause I don't know what's going on. Like, what's going on? Father God, tell me the tea. What's going on with the Libras? Okay. What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> what you thought, my Willis? Lean upon us for courage and scraps. For courage and some scraps. What you got yourself into, Libra? Ooh, ooh, see y'all. Mm -mm. Listen to me, Tonita. Listen to me, Tonita. What you did, girl? What you did to these people, girlfriend? Let me see what they're saying. Give me guidance for my Libras, fool. July. Ooh, 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 ooh. All on the floor. You bust.
Busting it on the floor. But, 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 busting on the floor. But, 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 busting on the floor. Oh, you busting on the butt, busting on the floor. Oh, okay. I'm reloading. Boom. What? Oh. Oh, we dropping a whole lot on the floor. Ooh. Dollars on the floor. <laughs> Dollars on the floor. Okay, hold on. We got the emperor in reverse. He ain't shit. We got the high purse, uh, the high priestess. That's that bitch. Okay. We got the four swords coming on out. We got the ace of wands. Get, 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 get it. Okay. We got the six of swords. Who you going back to, girl? Retrograde. Oh, hierophant. Ooh, commitment. And oh, wow. I know you ain't going back to ain't shit, 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 shit. Because he ain't shit, shit, shit about it. He ain't shit about himself. He ain't, I hope that's how ain't who you going back. Who you going to? Who you going back to? Who you trying to find? See, don't please don't let this retrograde fuck y'all up. Please, what y'all doing right now, Lee? Lee, that's why they saying be honest with yourself, Lee. You the high priestess, boo. Look at you out here looking, girl. Look at you how you looking. Look at you looking all mystical and stuff. Looking all beautiful. Look at you looking all beautiful, girl. Look at you how you lean down on them, okay? You see how you had to kneel down on the hoe? Be like, listen to me. Come on down here. Come come talk to me down here. You understand what I'm saying? Drop it on the floor. Drop drop it on the floor. J drop it on the floor. Drop, drop. You see how you be dropping, dipping it down on a nigga? With your boots on? With your boots on? I'm sorry. Listen. Y'all know better. <laughs> like, listen. Y'all know better. Y'all know better. Y'all know better. What you want to come out your hibernation and stuff for? And start a new beginning by going back. Looking for commitment. What? What? You know, the Empress ain't, the Emperor in reverse ain't shit, though. Like, this man is not responsible. This is a man that will start a fight by throwing a rock and then run and let everybody else in the crew get beat up while he go high for safety. Like, this is the man, he's not going to protect you. He's not going to help you raise your kids. He ain't going to hold that no job down. He ain't going to cut the grass. He ain't going to take the trash out. This man ain't shit, so what the fuck? After everything that we done been through and that we learned, now the high priestess, you know everything. You you already know his tea. You already know what it be. So, like, you've been saying to yourself, listen, high priestess is someone that is withdrawn as well. She don't be out here in the streets. You know what I'm saying? She's, you know, <laughs> doing her thing, collecting knowledge from different realms and different worlds and different universes and different galaxies. She is literally the holder of the secrets of the universe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like she studies, she learns. She's not worried about the mundane world when she has the universe to worry about. Do you understand what I'm saying? And people who come to her for guidance and for clarity and things like that. And typically the high priestess, she has to protect ancient knowledge. Do you understand what I'm saying? She has to protect these ancient secrets of these different palaces and, you know, these different dynasties and stuff. So it's like when people come and they ask her questions about shit, her first question to them is, why should I, why should I give you answers that are already within yourself? The answers that you seek are already within yourself. So that's the same thing that this card is saying to you, the answers that you seek are already within yourself in regards to this situation. So be honest to what you're going back to because I feel like this is like some retrograde shit right here. And this is something that you have to fight to get away from because like this card, because I've really had to analyze this card here recently. Because this card, number one, you already know that the Six of Swords means someone that is moving forward. Because it's something, swords represent mental mental what the fuck what is going on okay anyway swords represent mental stability you know what i'm saying it was something that was going on in this situation that was affecting their mental stability and their progress to be able to move forward and i see like a baby up there i don't know what the hell they got to do with anything with it i mean I'm, I'm assuming it has to do with creation and just moving forward and just trying to 
create something new. You guys were trying to get away from something that was literally why you were on your destination trying to stop you. You see this thing blowing smoke in his face and it's like you had to stand up on your boat. Could you imagine trying to fight in a boat? And if you look close, it's a... Uh, this boat is about to plunge into some depth. You know what I'm saying? It's about it's like about to fall into some hole or something. But he too busy fighting because this person is distracted by this person trying to blow this smoke, this dust, this poison, this gas. That they not even realize that they about to fall to their death. So this is a situation that you literally had to go through so much struggle, so much strife, so much fight to get away from. You literally had to... You know, reduce yourself with them six swords to four and get your mind together and to assess everything that happened, to heal, to, you know what I'm saying? To learn from those mistakes, to become that high priestess, to realize that you're tired of being secluded, hibernating, resting, relaxing. You've learned everything that you need to learn. It's time to come out. And I'm ready to start this new passionate beginning in my life. I'm ready for new communication. I'm ready to take action in my life. I don't want to be secluded no more. I don't want to be by myself no more. But to go back, to go backwards, I'm hoping it's like going backwards to somewhere where it was once a commitment with this Hierophant. I don't know, maybe this could be this, you know what, this is probably this Emperor in reverse coming back to you. That's them coming back to you, baby. It gotta be. But it's like you got, because, all right, because because it's like even how I got it separated. I got him over here to himself. You right here with the high priestess, the four um, swords in reverse, the ace of wands. Then the six of swords over here with the hierophant. I have it like separated three different ways like this. See, this this reading about to go different. This, 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 this shit about to go way motherfucking different. Way motherfucking different. Cause we need some guidance here. Give me guidance. Because I need to know what T. What is the T? Because you need to be honest about yourself. Because remember, this is a retrograde. So, this might be this idiot. But this idiot is coming back to you. The same as person isn't coming back to you. A changed man. This person is still irresponsible. This person is still lacking stability. Is lacking resources. Is lacking security. Like, this person... And y'all know that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know that. I don't think this is y'all. I, I think this is this this emperor wanting to come back to you. Give me guidance. Nature communication. It says flower energy, fairy energy, elemental messages. So... What I'm getting here, give me guidance on this emperor, please. Because I feel like you guys are getting signs. It's like y'all are getting some type of signs by nature. Like, I feel like y'all keep seeing a certain flower, a certain type of like flower or something like that all over the place. Keep your temper. You're going to have to keep your temper with this person. Give me guidance with this um, Hierophant and the Six of Swords. Because I'm trying to tell y'all, that's why I'm like, man, this is not my Libra, bro. Like, come on. Like, why would they accept an Emperor in reverse? Like, what? This person is going to try to communicate with you. Probably going to try to send you some type of flowers, like your favorite. Um, Why am I saying... Or Danius, or something Danius. I don't know. Some I don't know. I don't even know what the hell that is. Gordanius? Is there a flower called Gordanius? Corda I don't know. They're saying this in my head. I don't even. I've never even heard of that shit before. And then over here it says law 
it's not justice, rules that are not fair. They're like, hold on. Violence, violence, <laughs> violence. Listen, I was about to say, I was about to say, Libra is not about to go with this fuck shit. I was about to say, this shit is not sounding right to me. That's why I'm so glad there's something. I don't know why I separated it like this, but I just felt to do that. And I'm glad that I did that. Because right here with this Hierophant, <clears throat> with this Emperor in reverse here, Spirit is going to tell you that you're going, and you, you need to keep your temper with this person. Because this person, like I told you, the first card that came out here is this, you know, this communication, nature of communication, nature of communication, flower energies, fairy energies, elemental messengers. So, like, you just spiritually and intuitively, like I said, that high priestess, the high priestess knows everything. I feel like you just energetically know that this person is making a voyage back to you. Okay? And going to try to offer commitment. And it's going to come back and try to morally rectify things you know what i'm saying with the hierophant that's someone that is like a moral judge you know so you want to try back to morally balance things and, and and what this is saying right here law is not justice you understand what i'm saying these are all rules are not motherfucking fair you know what i'm saying i understand that you think that yeah you know you coming back and you you know being fairly equipped with a lot of apologies and a lot of empathy and sympathy and things that things would just go your way but honey <laughs> Life ain't fair now, is it? It's just, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm like, hold on. Now, if that was the emperor in the upright, I'd have been like, leave, bruh. Pop pussy, now leave, bruh. Pop pussy, come on, come on, come on. Pop pussy. I'm like, I would have been with it. But I'm like, hold on. We don't do him. <laughs> we do not do him, honey. He is not for us. No, he was never for us, honey. What? Excuse him, Walt. Excuse him, me. Honey, this right here, just keep your temper. This says, being pushed, running out of patience, feeling like people about you are not cooperative. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> Why the cooperative? What the fuck type of talking was that? Hold on, y'all. Let me go back and, and read like I got some saints. Like I got some saints. Hold on. Being pushed, run out of, running out of patience, feeling like the people about you are not cooperative, invasive companions, and bothersome circumstances. The need to keep your temper and cool in check, reminding yourself you will go far and further when you harness your power and use it at the right time, which is, by the way, not right now. <laughs> like, you bought the crack... <laughs> <laughs> hey father this dude gonna come around slim and you gonna be like fuck do you want slim you smell like yesterday's trash what the fuck do you want like why you don't be stroking your little kitty what and look at your kitty just as bad and as evil as you is right now and y'all not bad people but when this when this trash come around you like what who summons you? Tuh. And your cat like, let me bite him. <laughs> Look at the cat like, let me get him. You're like, don't let me let this fucking cat in. What? Real? What? <laughs> Y'all are like, um, sir, let's check out this nature communication here, okay? This is... You are being asked not to make assumptions. Be open to possibilities that seem to be outside rational expectations. Attempts to communicate with beings from other realms, within nature, spiritual planes, or even just humans as it is thought there, or, or even just humans with the thoughts that there is no chance of speaking or being understood by you. Be open and express the desire for communication. Be more lateral and less literal about the ways of communication can take place and being worth of communication. Okay. <laughs> so this is, okay. Okay, this is irritating. 
this, 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 this irritating. So this is somebody here that you haven't spoken to in a while, basically. And like I said, I feel like this person, they're definitely going to come around because I said, you see this here, balance. And that's the Libra scale, is it not? Okay. So... This person is going to come back around, but they know good and goddamn well that you know all of their secrets, okay? You already rested and healed, and you out and you about having a uh, pussy popping a, a cartwheel in the summer. And, like, you know, um, you out here all in Wakanda enjoying your life, like living your best life. You experiencing your new beginning. So, you're not going to be expecting this communication from this person because you guys are not talking. So, they're going to have to use other methods of communication. So, you might be getting little messages by like number synchronizations, um, dreams, like feeling like this person is trying to communicate with you through dreams. Like, maybe if y'all had like Gordanians, what the fuck is Gordanians? Um, y'all for y'all favorite flower or something like that. Like you just starting to see your favorite flower that this person used to buy you all the time. You're seeing this flower every fucking where, and it's starting to freak you out because it's just like, man, I'm just in the grocery store. I see the flowers. I think like you'd be walking by your job, um, and like someone has the flowers in the window. Um, did you see some some um? The people uh, selling the flowers on the, on on the corner at the at the uh, stoplight and shit like you just be seeing the flowers every fuck where and it's like creeping you the fuck out. You understand what I'm saying? So I feel like this person is like using other forms of communication, not necessarily saying that they doing no hocus pocus, but they may be thinking about you and you you spiritually with that high priestess, y'all are in tune with the universe. You know what I'm saying? So you just know, and it's the retrograde. A couple of them, you already know that this motherfucker is about to make that. You can just feel this motherfucker energetically. And hit us, and here they go. Here they go. Listen, here it is. Here it is. Now, at first, it was just signs of communication that you felt like this person was about to come. Here it is. Okay, this is the movement. This motherfucker is here. Okay? He is here. Okay? <laughs> he is here looking for some balance. Okay? And... You know, moral justice and just trying to straighten things out a little bit, okay? But law is not justice. Everything in life is not fair, especially not with Libra. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Libra go by their motherfucking balance and scale. Libra don't go by nobody else motherfucking balance scale. Don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. It says someone may have the authority to impose the law, but the law or the rules is ready to be questioned. Okay, following the law, even though it is unjust, con um, oh Lord Jesus, why can't talk? Come dem condemnation without knowing the full story, being judged by people who do not know you or do not have. A biased view. You may be judging people you do not understand. So be sure that you have the full picture and enjoy condemnation and judgment. Be discerning, but be sure to be fair and just. Law is not justice. Law is not justice. Because what this is saying to me is... Of course, things should be balanced and fair and, and right. And, it, you know, if, if everything was perfect, you know, I would accept you back. You don't actually came back and you don't shown your face after all this time, which is perfect. Respect. But, motherfucker, be honest with yourself. Are you coming back to me a changed person? Are you coming back to me morally correct? Like, you're coming back to apologize and address why things broke up and why you left, but at the same time, you really haven't changed a fucking bit here. And that's why, you know, Libra is going to be like, motherfucker, because, like, we can speak and feel that shit. We can smell it. We can sell. One thing about Libra, they're a fucking air sign. They are analytical. They are smart. Okay? Clarify for me this um, emperor in reverse and it's keeping your temper. And being honest with yourself. 
Yeah, because we're going to have to take this in sections here, honey. We're going to have to take this down in sections here for my Libras. So this is going to be a long video. Y'all go get y'all popcorn. <laughs> y'all go get y'all popcorn. Because we do shit a little bit different around here. Oh, okay. you just going to jump out like that. The Six of Cups, someone from your past, and the Seven of Cups, and this person is still coming back with a whole bunch of confusion, a whole bunch of other options, a whole bunch of foolishness. Okay? This is someone coming back from the past trying to bring up old emotions and talk about all of the good times. But motherfucker, what about all of the bad times? What about all these other motherfuckers that you got going on in the background? What about all of this shit? What about one minute, one one time you feel like a nut, one day you don't? Oh, man, Joy's got nuts. Mounds don't. Nigga, are you an Almond Joy or you a mound today? Because motherfucker, just like, come on. Okay, come on. Come on. It's like you want to express your admiration for how much we've grown since the past. since the Like, I respect that and everything like I do. But, nigga, you still coming around or... Even if, the, I mean, this could be a female as well. You know what I'm saying? The energy could be reversed. And this could be the Libra that's doing this to you. So y'all know that the energies could be reversed and vice versa and all that stuff like that. But like I said, this is someone that is not a family man. This is someone that wants the benefit of the luxury of a home and a wife and all of that stuff. But don't want to do what they're supposed to do to take care of it. You have to be a man. You have to be a protector, provider, a leader. You know, this is someone that wants all of the glitz and the glamour and the fame of the title, but don't want to do what it takes to be that person and want to talk about all of the good times in the past and all of that shit like that. But no, let's talk about all of the confusion and the drama that you bought. Don't nobody got time for that shit. Don't nobody got time for that shit. Give me one more card for the emperor. The hole in your temper. And then being honest with yourself. And this is also like letting you know, Libra, like if you go back to this person and you allow this person to fill your head up with all of the positive memories of the past and everything. Just remember, like, you don't be confused with that seven of cups right there. Because, like... Masking the truth with illusion because you know the um the seven of cups represent illusion too. What is it? Strength. You gonna have to have strength because it's like when this person comes around, it just feels like darkness, <laughs> darkness and gloom because it's like I feel like to some extent you do have a level of attraction and there is a level of love there still because you wouldn't i mean because you don't get that angry with people that you don't love you know what i'm saying and that's why they're saying to be honest with yourself excuse me let me close this window i say let no my good ac out honey we can't be doing that okay so it's like you you have to have strength because this person is a temptation for you libra this is someone that you really love this is someone that when they come to your life it's like you think of all of the good stuff in the past and it's like they, you are so confused at times because this person knows how to swindle you. This person knows how to touch your emotions. They know how to get you emotionally with these cups right here. And it could possibly be a, a, what a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. You understand what I'm saying? And it's a temptation for you and you just need to have strength because it's like... And I feel like that's why you're, you're, you're going to get angry like that. Because it's like, what the fuck do you want? <laughs> Clarify this nature communication for me. The high priestess. The, what is that? The four swords in reverse. And the ace of wands. And be honest with yourself. Well, I need to be honest with myself. I can't goddamn shuffle the damn. Sauce all on me. Ice on my neck. Ice on my wrist. Sauce all on me. I got the drip. I got the drip. Ooh. Sauce all on me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sauce all on me. Sauce all on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sauce all on me. All right. 
Her five nature communication. I have priestess. Yeah, two of pentacles. Having choices. Having choices. Trying to figure out if you even want to invest your time and your energy in that. You know? It's like you have choices. You don't have to even engage in this four cups and you're not. And you're not. You're bored with that shit. You're like, that's some old ass, vintage, goddamn, born ass bullshit. That's like, I'm looking at a goddamn 4K, big ass, fucking 70 something inch screen TV, motherfucker. You a floor model, black and white, fucking. <laughs> You got co hanger antenna looking at I Love Lucy and shit like that, nigga. We don't, like, no. <laughs> nigga, you born. Like, I don't, like, that shit is not even entertaining to me no more. Five of Swords, all right? Not only that, it's like, it, 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 it's a losing battle. It's like, why even engage with you when I already know that this is an ain't shit situation. So it's like, I might as well just go ahead and just put my fucking Swords down. And it's not even that. It's not because, like, don't even take it like that. Because it's like some battles is not worth fighting. You know? And this person, they're like... It's like they're like an emotional bully. You know what I'm saying? It's like they, they'll try to come around and they'll try to bully you. Or, like, maybe in the past, like, they just felt like they could come and take and just do what they wanted. And they ain't give a fuck about your feelings, your emotions, what you thought about the situation. They just came and just did what they wanted to. And it's like, why would I even engage with someone like that? Like, look at this bitch. Look at her. She don't respect nobody but herself. This person is a liar, a manipulator, a thief. Okay? Ciao, bye. Mm-mm. I'm not interested in that. Like, why the fuck would I even engage with something where I know it's going to be a lose-lose situation? Please. I invest my time wisely. Very wisely, like very, very wisely, like no, no, mm -mm. and you see this person sitting up there, and you see that dolphin in the back holding that one cup, mm -mm. those are the three cups that we had in the beginning, right, it was me, you, and someone else that you brought to the table, and I had a whole bunch of drama and shit, and I took my cup, and I went on about my business, and I did not, so why the fuck would you even bring your dumb ass over here, okay? I ain't even going, like, I'm not even going to engage with you at all, so, like, I don't even see you guys engaging in any type of communication with this person. It's like, I am, tuh, I already know your tea. I already know, I already know your tea. That's me being true and honest with myself. I already know my tea. It's a lose-lose situation with you. Oh, and then, like, also, you got to look. Like, them boys in the back got painted, got caught painting the roses red. You know what I'm saying? Like, doing some deceitful shit. Like, trying to get away with doing some deceitful trickery deceptional shit and it's like why would why would i engage with someone where i'm sitting up here knowing that this person is this way and i'm deceiving myself to try to make it believe that it's going to be something different when i am telling you it's not <laughs> you know what i'm saying like this person still ain't shit if anything they more of an ain't shit motherfucker since the last time that you seen it ain't be shit this person is more worse ain't shit <laughs> give me guidance and then six of swords in reverse the hierophant the law is not justice and be honest with yourself thank you so much lord jesus this is gonna be a long ass reading what is this the six of swords in reverse again. Like this person is making moves back to you, honey. What is this? The ten of pentacles. Yeah, they're going back to this home that was destroyed. They're going back to that broken foundation. To where they had to move. This person had to move away from their comfort because of something that they did. Because you see how, look, you see how in the upright, look, you see how in the upright, this Ten of Pentacles, this was their family, this was their home. You see how comfortable Alice is laying there, sleep. Yeah, this person can't come to this house no more. Do you understand what I'm saying? This person does not have the key, does not have access to this house. And here this motherfucker is yet again. See, before they had to sell the fuck away. Or you moved away. You understand? So, and then there's another thing. Like, this could represent that you 
don't even live where this is anymore. So this person is going back to a place that you don't even live at anymore. I don't even think you live there anymore. This person about to go and knock on the wrong fucking door like shit. Looking for a place to stay. Nine of Swords. This shit is a motherfucking nightmare. Seven of Swords in reverse. It's like this person is going to get caught. This. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. This is this person. This person is a thief. This person is a trickster. This is a manipulator. This is a liar. This is a gossip. This, this is like someone that is like a criminal. You know what I'm saying? Like a fucking criminal. This is like, I always take like the, this card, someone like this. Like this is like an internet, like an internet scammer. Someone who does like fraud, thief, thieving fraud, like wire fraud, tax fraud. Like, this is a thief. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is a fucked up person. This is a person that doesn't live their life by the law of moral justice here. You understand what I'm saying? So, it's like this person is trying to come to you, number one, because they probably don't have a place to stay. That's number one. Probably because they're homeless. You don't even live there no more. Their life has been a complete nightmare ever since they left you. Okay? And they're trying to come back for more. Those little, those other two swords, see, look, you see how he already got away with five swords, right? He's coming back to get them other two, but this motherfucker's not going to get away with that shit. This, this, this is not going to happen. Do you understand what I'm saying? Y'all are not going to allow that to happen. Y'all are not going to allow this person to come back, put their foot on any part of your threshold of your house. You don't even live there anymore. This person will never have access back there again. This is driving this person crazy because they should have never left to begin with. But they should have because they wasn't shit to begin with. This person never, you know what I'm saying, deserved to be around you to begin with. And this is just this retrograde fucking bullshit. I'm trying. Look, y'all, let's keep going. Give me guidance about this emperor in reverse. Mm, mm, mm. Look, we be just trying to mind our motherfucking business, right? Let our bunions be, trying to find out what's going on in the future. And these fuck-ass people got to be popping up in our future like Spirit God warn us about this shit. Now, this, you know... Come on, let's let's hurry up and get past this retrograde shit so we can um talk about other things. It says the nine of diamonds. It says one side will make you grow taller, the other side will make you grow shorter. It's like closing cycles of 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 what you invest in, in you know what I'm saying, and how you want the outcome of your life to be. It's like You need to decide, like, you need to decide. You need to make a decision. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, the past sounds nice when someone brings something to you and they only want to talk about the good shit and they want to cloud your mind and kind of feed you illusions and fairy tales and stuff and put you in a dark atmosphere where you feel like, you know, you <laughs> You're going to have to have strength because this person is going to come around and it's like you are going to have to figure out, do you really want to close this cycle or do you want to go back down this merry-go-round again? Do you want to grow shorter? Do you want to shrink down to size to deal with this person? Or do you want to take the other side of that mushroom and do you want to stand taller over this motherfucker and step on him and say, get the fuck out my way? Do you understand what I'm saying? This is literally, and this is why this person is coming back, and this is why this shit is coming up right now, because this retrograde is going to bring back past shit that we did not 
complete cycles with so that we can complete and finish these cycles. You understand what I'm saying? So this is like your decision time right here to decide. Are you finished? Are you ready to close this chapter so that we can move on? Or do we need to go through this one more time? And then let's just clarify what that nine of diamonds means because I'm just going intuitively. The nine of diamonds means extra money, a check, a bonus, the brain, mental energy, psychic ability, imagination, electricity, um, electric magnetic energy, other people's wishes and desire that affects and influence the quadrant, meaning you, fame, celebrity, public office, bureaucracy, red tape when surrounded by unfavorable cards. Okay, so this is red tape here. This is red tape to me. And like I said, I feel like what they're saying, like a, a check, a bonus, extra money. I feel like this person is going to come around and just going to lay it on extra thick. I'm like, like I'm telling you, like this person is probably going to try to offer to take you out to lunch, to do all of the nice shit that you probably was begging this person for years to do. I just want to go to this restaurant. I just want this cupcake or I just want to do this or remember our first date. Like this person is going to come around doing that bullshit, trying to, you know, Feed you illusions and confuse you and have you think that they're this nice person that they changed and everything like that. And they have not. They're just going to try to weaken your ability to think straight. And you're going to be like, oh no, motherfucker. I know good and goddamn well was underneath all of that bullshit. You still ain't shit and you're going to mark off. You understand? And I definitely, I don't see this as you getting back on this merry-go-round. Like you're holding your strength. Like you are protecting yourself. And you're going to ch you're going to close this chapter because it's like, why would in the face of adversity, why would I take the side of the mushroom where I'm going to go smaller? No, I'm going to go taller. I'm going to elevate on these hoes. You understand what I'm saying? So this is like spirit literally giving you a gift to elevate yourself in the face of adversity and show motherfuckers for real how much you grown and be honest to yourself. You know what I'm saying? This person still ain't shit. Let me count the ways how I know that you ain't shit. Okay? <laughs> Go on about your business. All right? Clarify this high priestess, the four swords, and reverse. Okay. Pop off like that. Pop, 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 pop. Ooh! The four, <laughs> I mean, the two of hearts. Oh, I beg your pardon? Do you see how she's looking back at yesterday's trash like, oh, I beg your pardon? Excuse me. This is representing the fact that Libra is in love with self. Libra got brand new opportunities, brand new advancements in life, brand new situation, emotional, you know, heart balance. You see what I'm saying? This is someone that is in love with self and knows their worth. That is someone that knows their worth. And if you look, it's a whole bunch of mice and rats and squirrels, a whole bunch of little rodents and a whole bunch of little pests and stuff. And Alice was like, excuse me? What? I beg your pardon? What are you coming around here saying to me? You're a fucking rat. Like, what are you talking? Like, what are you talking about? I don't, even, I, don't even, I don't even, like, deal with people like you for real no more. Like, why why are you even around here saying anything to me? This is a lose-lose situation uh, for you, baby. I love myself too much. The two of hearts represents love, affections, emotions, child, pregnancy, expectation, a pet, emotional excitement, talent. Uh, artistic ability, love exchanges, love letters, good news. So, yeah, this is someone expressing their love for you their affections their emotions mm, child and pregnancy lord i feel like some of you guys some of you guys might be expecting or something like that or y'all might have just bought a pet y'all might have just bought a pet and it's like you know what <laughs> with that being said because you know and i laugh at that because i just did a personal reading with someone the other day and i told her because in one of um i forgot which deck i used it was like the life purpose deck in that in whatever car came out it was something about some animals or whatever and i said you know what 
because I felt like a bout of loneliness and just like, and I said, you know, we'll go and get you a dog. I'm like, you like dogs, don't you? And she did. I'm like, go get you one of them cute little Pomeranians or like one of them little small little toy dogs or whatever. And I'm just like, I feel like when you come home, you'll have something to come home that you know loves you unconditionally every day. You know what I'm saying? And that you take care of it and it take because your dog is going to protect you and you know what i'm saying and it's like it's just a different love and then that's also that you know nature communication and stuff like that like you can get love from other things where you're not having to lower yourself you understand where you're having to lower yourself to express communication and deal with false like no in the lose-lose situation, absolutely not. And like I said, you had that two of um, pinnacles right there. You balanced. You already... This person is already coming to you knowing that you're probably going to reject them. And you did. Because you know that they're a liar. They're a cheat and a manipulator. It's like, why Why would I even do... I, high Priestess, I already know your tea. I already healed from this situation. I already started my new beginnings. Why? I don't give a fuck in what form you're trying to communicate with me. I'd rather go buy a pet than be with you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Let's get over here. The six of spades. The six of spades really represent y'all have most definitely closed this chapter with this person. It's like, I'm going to sit with you one last time and make it perfectly clear with you that I don't ever want to see you again. And that's it. And that's all like. You will no longer be a dark cloud that looms over my life. So this, in this retrograde, y'all are ending shit. It said, there's a reason they're called lessons. Because they lessen from day to day. Honey, if that wasn't deep, there is a reason why they're called lessons. Because they lessen from day to day. I got 99 problems and a bitch ain't one. Okay? Libra, I got 99 problem and this bitch ain't one as of today. I, <laughs> I am done. Let me make myself perfectly clear. Like I told y'all, y'all temper. Y'all gonna try to hold y'all temper so that y'all can try to communicate the fact that don't come right here no more. <laughs> like seriously, listen, you ain't changed. You ain't shit. The reason they're called lessons because they lessen from day to day. I get smarter. I go stronger every goddamn day. And every day, all of these challenges, they lessen because of my growth. I ain't get this strong. I didn't get this way from no reason. You know what I'm saying? I've already been through this shit with you. I'm smarter. I'm like, come on. Oh, my gracious. Come on now, Libra. Because I was just like... Oh, Come on now. Where is where, where where we at? The six of spades traditionally a car of completion. I told you. The end of one phase and the beginning of the next. A permanent ending. Come on. A situation or a relationship that has run its course. The need to let go. Releasing of what no longer serves. The parting of ways. Moving on to something new. Making progress. A moving force. A move to a new resident. Didn't I tell y'all that y'all moved? And this motherfucker don't even know where the fuck you live no more? And look at you having to meet with this motherfucker under the mulberry bush. You like, listen. I'll meet with you at Starbucks. Okay? Because you're going to try to keep your temper because you ain't even going to um, embarrass yourself in there. And you're going to sit in there with this beast and let them know, listen to me, Tony. Don't come right here no more. Watch our little bitch. Watch our little bitch. Watch our little bitch. Watch our little bitch. You getting mad, but we getting rich. Look, come watch our little bitch. Okay? It says making progress, moving forth, moving to a new residence, a mode of transportation, a car, a truck, a bus, a train. Come on, watch a little bitch. Watch a little bitch. You're not coming back getting shit for me. Whatever the fuck you didn't get when you was here the last time, you ain't getting that shit no more, ho. You ain't getting that shit no motherfucking more, so you might as well just wrap that shit up. You can't be that with the back. You can get with this or you can get with that, okay? You can get with this or you can get with that. Okay? And getting with this is me telling you that <clears throat> ain't no motives. Okay? So your only option is that. 
that from which you came. Curry your ass on somewhere. Okay? Jesus, Lord. Give us Father God guidance for our Libras. Lord, this was interesting. Come on, Libra. You better shut down shit. Come on, Lee, fucking bra. What does it goddamn be? Come on. This is you right here looking at strange windows. No, let me stop. <laughs> Because when I look at this car, I look like these are like portals, like old pathways or something. Like, you're looking at some shit at a distance. Old windows, old phases, old stages that you've already passed. You know, and... Because these are like windows. These are windows. These are windows. Like portals to other dimensions or something like that and this is someone like on a solitary journey and it's 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 something about these windows it's something about these windows or these portals or whatever the fuck it is it's like I don't necessarily like them and I, don't, I, don't, I don't, even though that one got rainbows and shit coming out of it I don't necessarily know Slam. I don't know if I trust that shit. I think she's safer down there on the shore. I don't know. Like, it's time. I don't, I don't, I definitely feel like she's safer down there on the shore, my, my dude. How, how they be saying on the internet, my guy? Okay. I think she's safer down there, my guy. <laughs> oh, this means distance, isolation, uh, yeah, distance and isolation. It says physical distance or emotional detachment served to give a greater appreciation and an apprehensive view. Distance may also provide a clearer overall perspective than a close-up look would. From this vantage of point of view, we can often get the bigger picture and reach different conclusions. A solitary woman strolls this desolate beach. Her isolation gives her a point of view of reflection, distance from the influences of others. This is a scene of personal contemplation. The floating mophilets, oh shit, Lord, me and my reading, monoliths, excuse me, provide perspective and suggest a distance with greater emphasis than what would on an empty sky fuck is that supposed to mean perhaps representing issues in her life their distant reinforces their distance reinforce her isolation but may also provide her with a perspective and clarity of vision than what she's speaking we need to strike a balance when assessing situations are we too closely involved or should we take a step back so like I said, those represent portals of past stages in. Yes, that's why I was like, I, I, don't, I ain't necessarily like these little windows and these gateways. It's like this shit represents to me like portals and gateways to like stages in this person's path that they already completed. And it's like right now you're in isolation, like about to go to a brand new stage in your life. And the reason why. You just can't just jump up and just, you know, it, like she's so far from it. It's because like even as you see how this is trying to allure, allure itself, like attract her to want to go to the back to this portal and shit like that. Girl, you better keep your ass right here. You better keep your ass right the fuck here and keep walking. Like, I swear, I swear, like there's a reason for this isolation. There's a reason for this distance. And like a lot of people have been questioning, well, why my ex ain't come back? Because it's motherfucking ain't changed. Do you understand? It don't matter. You can paint this shit like I told you. It was somewhere up here. People, listen. Got caught. About to get their head chopped off for painting the roses red. You, are, it's a lose-lose situation. It's a lose-lose situation. It's a lose-lose situation. No matter how much they try to paint it with rainbows and paint roses red and shit. You already know, even from at a distance that that portal and that gateway is not leading you to anywhere that you want to be. You've already been there before. This moment of isolation is needed because you are closing those chapters and those gateways to those old 
you know, to those old portals, those old pathways, those old chapters in your life. They're ending. What does it say? Toil and labor. What is this? The gift. I feel like after hard work, you're going to be gifted. Because I, even, even as... Even as intriguing as this look for her to maybe want to walk out there and try to see if she can get back up into that gateway. I feel like she keeps herself secluded. She don't get too close. Like it says, are you too closely involved? Or are you at a safe distance at a situation so you can really look at it with a closer eye and a sharper perspective to make a better decision? Because like I said, don't be... Don't be... Too excited by everything motherfuckers offer you. Everything that glitters is not gold. It may be illusions. And that's why they're saying to protect yourself and have strength. Don't just give to any. Don't take everything that motherfuckers in your past is trying to give to you. Because, listen, they may be trying to feed your ass a poison apple or something. Like, they might be an illusion. One side will make you grow taller. The other side will make you grow shorter. Are you trying to grow or are you trying to go... Are you trying to go back through the same shit? And it's like after all this hard work and you still staying isolated, keeping yourself a safe distance to, from this shit, you're going to be gifted. You are going to be gifted. Please give us guidance about this gift. Ooh, lovers. You are going to be gifted with a new lover. You understand? Keep yourself at a safe distance from this person in this situation here. Please give me guidance and love. Give me guidance for my Libras and love, please. Ooh, okay. It says, when it comes to matter of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of love and of life. Okay. And then this says right here, it says emotions are a natural and a necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Okay. Okay. So with that being said, I feel like I don't think that there's anything wrong with you meeting up with this person and closing this chapter like I said, it's about being honest with yourself about this person and about the situation and what you came there to do. You understand what I'm saying? Keep your temper. Say what you need to say. And, and, and just know that when it comes to matter of the heart, it's no right or wrong. Every choice that you make expands your understanding of love and life. So this choice that you made to keep yourself at a safe distance, it's going to result in you being gifted with a brand new love and a brand new life. You know what I'm saying? And I know that it was extremely excruciating hard work with this toil and labor. Because I feel like you went through a battle emotionally. But now you're at a phase where you are able to look at this person and continue to walk past it. And it not phase you no more. You understand? You're like, oh, I beg your pardon? You rat. You muskrat. No, let me stop. Like you're being gifted with new love and new life because I love myself. Like I, I, I'm not even going to engage in a lose-lose battle. I love myself too motherfucking much. I did not work this hard for nothing. And you are going to be recognized and you are going to be gifted with new love right after this. Right? I mean, and I, I swear, I feel like right after you close this door, you're going to go boom right into the next one. Last spread. Let's clarify this with Lenormand. And then we are out of here, Libra. And I'm sorry that this ended up being so long, but y'all already know I have to do what I have to do with these readings, you guys, because this is my page. I rock this shit. I rock this shit how I have to. You know what I'm saying? Because if I want to go up here and pull out some more motherfucker decks, and this shit going to be two hours, I'm, I'll make it two hours if I want to. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get to the meat and the goddamn potato. We're going to get to the meat and potatoes. We're going to find out what's going on. But I had to separate that shit because I'm like, I know good and goddamn well Libra ain't for the fuck shit. All right, give me guidance. Give me guidance and love for my Libras. What's this gift coming? This new love. Give me guidance for my Libra. Ooh. Ooh, the cross. The lady. 
Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. And the ace of spades, that represents... Oh, hold on. What is this here? The ship moving. Moving forward. The sun. Enlightenment. Happiness. Joy. So it's like in, in, in love. I feel like... And then the moon. The moon. It's like happiness and it's like happiness after the closing of cycles. This is what I'm getting here. I feel like in regards to the past, the worries, the frustrations, the stress and things like that. I feel like there's an end to that cycle for this lady. I feel like she's intuitive. She's smart. She knows her self-worth. She knows the enjoy and smell her flowers while they're there she's not going to lessen herself anymore and everything that happened in the past was literally fate she went through that struggle for a reason to teach her how to love herself and to move forward in life you know what i'm saying how to leave certain shit behind that is not serving that is not serving and sometimes we need to be alone in order to accomplish the things that we need to accomplish in life. Like I said, that high priestess, you had to go through this hardship in order for you to learn and love yourself so that you could travel and go through this self voyage. You know, it was meant to happen that way because it illuminated you. It elevated you. It helped you glow. It helped show you who you are inside. It helped you seek for a deeper knowledge, deeper purpose of who you are, you know, in the closed cycles and in the closed chapters, you know, the sun and the moon. The only thing we're missing is the stars, the sun, stars, and the moon. So everything that's happened is fate. And like I said, you will be experiencing gifts from a new lover. You will be closing this chapter for good. And I mean for fucking good. For fucking good. For good. And I am going to do one more love spread just because, like I said, this is my page. I do what the fuck I want now. So now let me shut up. <laughs> let me shut up. Let me shut up. Let me do one more. Let me do one more. And I swear, I'm looking for some more love oracle decks because, like, this deck is so old and it's just, like, so used. I'll be looking for a new flavor. That's why I'm about to go on Essie and see if I can find me some new love oracle decks because I need more new in-depth stuff about love. Give me guidance for my Libras and love for July. What can they expect? Uh-huh. Looks like that was fake. That was fake to take you on your journey. Get my Libra's guidance and love. It says let go of control issues and love. It said allow this your this situation and love to unfold naturally. It says this could be the one. It said you've already met the partner that you see. So I feel like there might be somebody already around you that you might not even be looking at, looking at like that. Because you insist to get to know each other, this in the reverse. Like, I don't even think that you've given this person a chance to get to. There's somebody in y'all's energy. I don't like why y'all not getting in the who did, who's it, who the who this person? Who's this person? There's somebody. It's like you're trying to, I feel like it has something to do with the age difference. It's something, it's like some difference with y'all. And you're trying to control it because of age difference. It has something to do with y'all demographic. But this could be the one, but it's like you're not even giving this person a chance to get to know you. Give me guidance. Who is this person? Family room. Someone that already has a family. What is this? Great fortune. In marriage. 
this is someone that whoever this is i feel like this is someone that already has a family with someone else but don't harshly judge this person for this because this situation with them is going to turn into great fortune in marriage so this is someone that like i told you this is someone that is going to come with you come to you it's going it's going to be a blended family with this situation with you and this new person they already have children they already have an already established family room and they might just be coming off of a divorce or a breakup or something like that and i feel like it's going to be a blending of families but this is going to result in marriage you guys so listen libra like i told y'all y'all go ahead and be honest with yourself close up this bullshit so y'all can get on to this tea right here because i'm ready to read more about this in the future libra i love y'all i see you guys in mid-month peace